I know it's gonna be hard for you to hear, but you have this disease. Wait, what? Uh, oh no! I don't understand. My my family, my lifestyle. This shouldn't have happened. I, I understand, but you can cure it with a healthy diet and exercise. Oh no! What are you trying to say? I'm fat, you bigot, you mother. <laughs> The same goes for jokes about a heart attack on a plate or needing a bypass after a meal. One in three Americans has hypertension. Think about how that joke sounds if you have a condition that means you are more likely to have a heart attack. They don't need your food anxiety too. Man, you almost had me until you said food anxiety. Now, yes, I understand that could be offensive to someone who does have heart problems, but jokes are jokes. But uh, as soon as you said food anxiety, nah fam, that's not a thing. That's. That's not a thing. You're just saying that because you don't want people to bother you about how you're fat and eating a cake. When will we finally call plus size regular size and regular size undernourished size? Isn't it crazy that we stick to the ideals that only a tiny minority of us can actually reach? Oh gosh, I can tell that she posted this just for the emotional thing because there's nothing intellectual about this post. She just wants to be considered normal or regular, so that's why she's like, when, we fin when do we finally call plus size regular size? Honey, you'll be considered regular when you just work to lose your weight. It's almost like, it's it, yeah, I know it's a lot easier to make a post than it is to pick up a weight. I get it, but when you make posts like this, I just, all, all people do is laugh at it. <laughs> and it's just not taken seriously. In series, why would you say regular size is undernourished? Regular represents the average size. So that, let's take a look at the average size of the United States. I guess a bunch of other bigger people are undernourished? My pretty ass when someone buys something, Jesus, from the thrift store to transform it into a cute tailored cocktail dress. How about you leave the XXXL section alone? for poor fat women out there so they can retain some sense of variety out of the seven things that actually fit them in the goddamn goodwill. Are you serious? Are you really hating on this woman for buying clothes that are just for you? Are you that tribal? But maybe it's out of necessity. The tribalism is probably because I can't find any other clothes, which is a bad thing. If you cannot find any other clothes that fit you, that's a sign. That's a sign. Also, the woman looks good, and I think you're mad that she were to take something that was ugly, that would pr definitely make you look ugly, and turn it into something cute. So you're mad that skinny girls are taking <laughs> your clothes and making them look better. <laughs> you can't get diabetes from eating sugar, and I mean your jokes about diabetes are cruel and fatphobic. Cut it out. It's okay to be fat. It's okay to have diabetes. Congratulations, anonymous Tumblr user. You've earned the Retard of the Day Award. Come on down! My family. I come from a big family. I have one sister, four brothers, and a genderqueer sibling. For the most part, we all get along, but my father has a nasty habit of calling me a glutton whenever he talks to me. I'm a small fat. Five's two... I can't fucking read this. Did she... Did she really... Did she really just say small fat? <laughs> Is she serious? <laughs> do, I, do I have to read this one? Sweetie, your father only calls you a glutton because he cares about you. <laughs> he doesn't want you to get any bigger. And the fact that you're, I can clearly see you're not listening because your last thing is thin privilege is not having your own family shame you and call you hurtful names based on your weight. Your family's shaming you to make you move because you're not moving. You're 358 pounds. It's clear. Let's be honest. Real gender inequality lies in what men need to do to lose weight. Cut out that second gallon of ice cream. And what women need to do. Survive on 500 calories and work out three hours a day. Yeah, because men and women have different physiologies. And body physiologies. Uh, men, we can lose weight rather quickly. And then gain muscle. Women, a little, you have to keep a little bit of that fat for the baby. So of course you have to work a little harder to lose the weight. I'm sorry, men and women are different. If there are good fats and bad fats, like unhealthy trans fats versus healthy avocados, why is it so hard to believe that you can be fat and healthy? I'm just an avocado. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's that's funny. I'm not even gonna roast it. You you made me laugh. Do you think child obesity is a form of child abuse? No. What the fuck? 
child forced to conform to extreme diets because their parents think of them as an accessory, which must be beautiful. On the other hand, is child abuse. No, it's not. Uh, if I have a child who is rotund, I'm going to work that child until it's no longer fat. Because I am responsible for that child's health. It's not child abuse. Forced to cons conform to extreme diets is no for- Yeah, of course it's forcing because ch children don't listen. So yes, you're, you're going to eat salad instead of chicken nuggets. Google data shows many men prefer overweight women but are afraid to admit it. I'd like to see this data. I have never heard of this before. Uh, I don't think it's true, but I don't know all men, personally. I do not like thick women, because I think it's gross, or women who are big, because I just think it's gross. But, uh, hey, in the comments, go ahead and link an article, and I'll read it. And if I find some bullshit, I'll make a video on it. I promise you that much. Your hatred of soda is class snobbery and fat phobia. I'ma stop you there. Stop. No one's hating on soda. I love soda. It's good. It's like fizzy candy. And you're ready to say that fruit has sugar in it? Of course it is, because it's sweet. But it's also fruit. It has other things. Sugar. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a nutritional scientist. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that soda is just syrup. Fruit has a whole lot more to it. And how is it class snobbery? Is it because it's just, they're just a poor people drink soda? That seems like a super underestimation I, I'm pretty sure everybody likes soda poor people and wealthy people but I guess you're attaching poor to fat which makes sense because most poor people are fat so it's not class snobbery to hate soda though because nobody hates soda I think she I don't know what she's talking I don't know what your argument is I don't I'm not getting it I don't care if you think I'm gross or ugly for it I don't care if you think I should exercise for it. I don't care if you judge me for it. You're the problem, not me. I'll never be thin enough for you. I'll never be thin enough for society. Following what, what you or society wants for me is literally a perfect gateway into developing an eating disorder. I hate myself, I hate my appearance, and I and have been ashamed of my weight and felt othered for it all of my life. I refuse to listen to you anymore. Honey, real, real thing, like, I get where you're coming from. You hate your body and you hate yourself, but you have, it's unhealthy to be like, no, screw society, screw everybody else. Everybody else is the problem and not me. That's the wrong way to think about it. There's a reason why you dislike yourself. It's because everybody's telling you, you're going to hurt yourself this way. You cannot be big. I understand that it's been messing with you your entire life. And yes, kids can be mean. But it's all going to be positive in the long run. When you lose that weight, you're going to be happy for it. Because you'll realize everybody's going to leave you alone. No one's going to leave you alone because everybody cares about you. Your family will. Now, granted, yes, there's there's assholes who just call you fat and just mess with you because they want to be mean. And granted, that's just, yeah, that's rude. But when your family's telling you to lose weight, do it. I understand that you don't want to conform to society and you want to be just by yourself. You're strong. I accept myself. But yeah, you, there's other ways to accept yourself. By changing yourself. By making change. Woo! That got serious. All right, let's go back to making fun of some posts. Patient gets onto a scale. Tips at 340 pounds. Patient, I had no idea. Nurse, what kind of mirror do you got at home? <laughs> I lost my shit and had to leave the room. Dang. The nurse. <laughs> that is so unprofessional, but at the same time, I probably say the same thing too. My New Year's resolution is to stop kidding myself about lifestyle changes. Nobody likes a cheap, skinny, sober bitch anyway. Oh. Ooh, yikes. Ooh, that's see-through. Dang. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> this post reminds me of people who say haters gonna hate. Those type of people just don't want to change. So this person's arguing against keeping the word morbid in the word morbidly obese. I guess she doesn't understand that uh, morbidly obese is is self-explanatory it's meant to say like if you become obese you will die type thing so she's like fabulously obese or sexy and obese or stylishly obese or even obviously obese wow because there's nothing abnormal about obesity do we correct her do we tell her i don't think we tell her because she's she's far from help now you need to take that down what exactly? The skinny Ursula cosplay picture. It's fatphobic and promotes fat erasure. 
She is too thin to be Ursula. That erasure? No, you you know what? Never mind. I don't even want to know. Wait, what happened to people should be allowed to cosplay as any character they want regardless of body type? Isn't that a big issue in the cosplay community? Right, except thin people because of thin privilege. I am without words. I, I think we're done being friends now. Insatiable. 100,000 people signed petition to cancel fat shaming on Netflix show. I think all of you guys know about this. I, I am curious about this show uh, because I think people are missing the point. She loses the weight, so she's becoming a vindictive person. Like, she's going to go out to find everybody who made fun of her. You realize that losing the weight was actually the bad thing. I think you guys are missing that. That's the whole point of the show. Watch the trailer again and come back with an, uh, with an argument. You have the option to tell your doctor's office that you choose not to be weighted. This can be a powerful step in trying to advocate for yourself against medical fat phobia. It's okay to be fat. So why are you going to the hospital if you don't want help? Why are you going to the doctor's office and purposefully hindering his job? You're stopping him from helping you. How does that make sense? Hey, you don't have to feel thin to have thin privilege. Thinness isn't a feeling if other people perceive you as thin. You are thin. If you are able to walk into any clothing store and expect to see a wide range of options in your size, you are thin. Hey, fat acceptance movement. This is exactly why no one fucks with y'all. Because you're over here just making giant claims and giant platitudes and exclusionary remarks about other people. This is why no one joins your cult. Ooh, this is a great way to end. Self-esteem. How dare you be conventionally attractive? Why isn't everyone equally ugly? I'm blaming the lack of people in clothing I can wear. <laughs> Thin privilege is not having to spend an hour every movie exposing yourself to images and writings that are positive about bodies like your own in order to combat the hundreds of negative images and writings you'll be exposed to during the rest of the day just so your self-esteem can survive. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you complaining that you're hurt all the time because of your body? Are you serious? Lose the weight! It's not that hard!